Hi, I'm Gail Hannon. Do you have a moment to talk about masks? 2020 has been a year of... It has just not been a good year. We'll all agree on that. And for people with hearing loss, it has brought us big time, our biggest communication nightmare, and that is communicating with people who are wearing masks. Now, I come down firmly on the side of a mask and, and we wear them to keep us safe. The problem though is that I can't speech read someone who is wearing a mask. So let's do a little experiment to see how good you are at it. So I've got here basic medical mask. Did Mickey Mouse wear a mask when he was courting Minnie Mouse? Now, did you get that? Maybe part of it you might have got, but let's try it this time, and this time we'll have the captions below. Did Mickey Mouse wear a mask when he was courting Minnie Mouse? You may have got that, and that's great, but here's the thing. When people are... Uh, speaking with mask on, they don't have caption floating around that you can understand what they're saying. So let's talk a bit more about mask, some of the issues, some of the problems and what we can do. Now, if you're like me, you probably have several masks in your fashion mask closet now. Uh, now, you have your basic medical mask that I just wore. Now, the first time I wore it, uh, apparently I got it inside out. And I don't understand that because I don't see a difference in construction from the one side to the other. But, oh no, the blue goes out. And if you don't have the blue going out, people get a little antsy. So, medical mask. And I also, you know, if you want to feel a little special and you're going somewhere nice, you might want to wear something a little more, hmm, like this one, I love this. I love its, its garden motif and it's got gold elastic. My friend made it for me. It, this is the first mask that I had when the pandemic started. The problem though is that the other week, my husband wore it and now it, it oh, it's sticking on now, but normally it just kind of make, works, works his way off my face. So this is, I can't wear this anymore. I just Actually, just wear it around my neck like a necklace would be fine. And then there are clear masks. We have been advocating and screaming for clear masks so we can understand what people are saying. Here's a happy looking mask. See that? Now, if you have hearing loss, you might be able to speech read me through this, or you might have difficulty because it is fogging up. And uh, actually, the, the teeth kind of makes us look a little bit like uh, Hannibal Lecter. Or if you're like me, Annabelle Lecter. So masks are an issue. But here's the thing. I believe that you have the right, if you're in the store and, and you're not understanding, you could, you could use um, the app, uh, a speak to text app on your phone to catch what the person is saying but you have to have that ready because otherwise you're fumbling to open it and the line's getting longer. But I also think that you have the right to ask, if you are properly physically distanced, to ask the person or say to them, I have hearing loss and um, I'm not understanding what you're saying. If you could just lower your mask, if they could lower it just a little bit, then we can say what needs to be said. I'll understand you, you'll understand me, and we can go our way and have a great day. I think we are in within our rights. And I forgot to mention the other issue with masks. It's not just speech reading. It's the sound degradation, which means that the sound that people hear, mask, no matter what kind of mask, they cut down the audibility. So that, that's an extra problem. But, so, mask. They're not going anywhere soon. We're going to have to keep wearing them and that's okay. But we can have it both ways. We, we want to stay safe. We're going to wear our masks and we're also going to ask for help when we need it.